she normally only goes around 100 miles, under 100 miles a week. Normally I let her set a good amount, try to keep the miles down on her. But anyways, like I said on Dave's farm, I don't know if anybody had noticed, I never say shoved a block of wood back here. Now that's how it used to get done around here. We'd shove a block of wood behind the alternator. But we found out later on from a, um, I don't even know exactly where I found this out. I know my brother found it out somewhere. Because he has that 989 Regal over there. But um, what you do is you see this little loop right here in the dog bone? What you do is you disconnect both dog bones, of course. Set it up like you normally would to put the block back. Only instead, when you have somebody pull from like right here, it's a good spot to put a pry bar. Just gotta watch this head, so it'll snap off easily. And uh, you roll the engine forward. Have somebody, while you're rolling it forward, take this bolt and shove it through here, back in here. Because that'll hold the engine in place while you do this. It's a neat little uh, thing. You can't do it on that side, I don't think, because of the uh, hose there. The uh, coolant line there. But you can do it on this side. And it makes life a lot easier. You don't have to worry about busting anything off. So that's a new alternator. We don't want to be shoving crap in there. But in behind there and breaking stuff. We broke stuff in the past. So, you know, do it that way. You don't have to worry too much. Um, just some little thing. I'm wondering if anybody out there but have any ideas how to get that line down there? You see the line from rubbing. We replaced the uh, power steering pump on it back uh, back in not this May, not last May, the day before that, maybe June. Um, it was a used part, but we knew it was good. We had a figure feeling it was good because the car had lower miles than this one did. Shocking, and it was in a junkyard. But um. I guess they junked the car because the coolant line began to leak, the one down here, which mine isn't yet, and it had a blown brake line, so they junked it. I was like, okay, beautiful car, it was an 88, had the 2.8 in it, but it, you know, basically the same parts, and the same part number, but, um, yeah, ever since we put that on there, it wasn't rubbing before, but now it rubs, and I noticed uh, my brother's 89, uh, Regal, does the same thing, it rubs. That and of course there's uh, clips down there, the, uh, the lines for the power steering that go to the rack, I think. They're, um, they kept flipping out of the bracket ever since we did that and I had to do a redneck repair job down there with some zip ties when she was cool. But you can see it shaved the belt up pretty good. It's been throwing belt everywhere. It's been like that for several months now and I've been trying to find out why it's like that. Now, all these wires down here exposed them. Um, it just all, it was so never cleaned and taken care of that much. When I got it, we kind of cleaned it. And uh, it just fell apart, all those wiring covers. Plus, it had an alarm system in it that was installed over here. So you get a bunch of the patched up wires down here where it connected to the kill for the fuel pump. It's like lovely, you know, lovely stuff. But, you know, she's a good runner for 90. She pretty much as good as cares I can of her. I mean, other than the, uh, the paint.